Hello everybody, welcome to the video where I show you how to set up bracket orders and how to set up interactive brokers for making rapid day trades. Essentially where we can just hit our buy or sell button, it's going to get us into a trade and it's also going to send out a stop loss and a target order all at once. Uh, very quick and efficient. So I can, you can see I have an empty space here that I've cleared out basically for this tutorial. So we are down here, this is the desktop platform. And when you open Interactive Brokers along the bottom, you'll hear, see Classic TWS or Mosaic. I am in Mosaic, so click on Mosaic. And then the next thing you wanna do, sorry it's blocked off just to cover my uh, account number. But under File up at the top, you, if it's locked, you're just going to click Unlock Layout. There's also a little lock button here that you can click to open, and that's going to allow you to make changes to your look of your platform, your settings, your layout. And so you can see I have three already set up, and this is basically what we are going to go through to set up. But there's always a few little quirks and weird things about uh, interactive broker. So we're going to set up an order entry window. I really only have two things going here. An order entry window and a chart. And that's going to include this little uh, trade log or for whatever's happened on that chart. So really we only need the order entry window, the chart, and then we need to set up this bracket order. But things can, you know, get a little weird. So one of the things, so right now you can see this is green up here, this little green chain. If I go File, New Window, Order Entry, it's not going to open a new one for me because it already says, the, my overall default is saying that th this is basically linking things up on the layout and it says you already have a green uh, Order Entry window out. So what I'm going to do is go to No Group on this one way up here. Uh, as you can see, these are the order entry window and the chart are linked, so we're gonna set that up. But for right now, then make sure this says no group up there. So then we're gonna go new window, order entry. And there we go. And for now, we'll just leave that as it is and we can put it up here, however you wanna set it up. And we're gonna go file, new, chart, chart. And we have a new chart up there. Okay, so you can set that up how you like. And now what you're gonna do is go group windows and make sure it's not the same color as any other windows you have set up. So I'm gonna pick red. And then I'm also gonna do this one red. And what this means is that this order entry window is attached to this stock chart window. So that if I type in coin here, the chart automatically loads. And if I change this symbol to BBY, it's gonna change that. Right, so it just, it saves you one step of having maybe accidentally looking at the wrong chart. You know, this, you're looking at the coin chart, but you've changed your order entry window up here to a firm. And so you're looking at this chart and you're basically buying on the wrong chart. You're buying based on the wrong information. So this just makes sure that your chart and your order entry are matched up. So make sure those are the same, the same. Okay, so now you have your chart and your order entry window, but we don't have uh, anything else set up. So on order entry, to make it look like mine, you're gonna your order entry at the moment might look a little bit different. You can click on Interactive Simplified. I have mine at Rapid Transmit. This basically means that clicking the Buy or Sell button is gonna send out the order. There are other options, but I just prefer this method. So this means you click the Buy button, a Buy order is going out. You click the Sell button, the Sell order is going out. There's gonna be no, excuse me, confirmations or anything like that. So the next thing we want to do is on your chart settings, up to you whether you want these like little toolbars or not. Um, probably don't need them, but you know that's what toggles that. 
and I haven't changed much on the charts from the default. As you can see, most of these other ones look the same. Um, so yeah, it's whether you want that toolbar or not. Uh, the only important thing I would say, if you wanted to have your setup exactly like mine, um, again, I'm using mostly TradingView to watch for the trades. These charts are more just up for seeing my own orders. And that's what is important. Down here, order display, show live orders, show live orders. And what that's going to allow you to do is once we get our order entry set up, which we'll do in just a second, if you click buy, it's going to send out a market order attached with a stop loss and a profit target order. So if you were to buy this, doesn't look like a trade I would take, but if you were to buy this at this moment, you, you know your target would be up here and your stop loss would show up down here. So it's going to be a line. I'm recording this after hours, so the market isn't open but a little line is going to show up marking your target you can move your mouse over that line it's going to change to like a little up and down arrow and then you can click on it and you can drag your um drag that target up or down and the same thing with your stop loss you can hover over it and then drag it up and down uh so that makes it, it's just really good for trading. You can basically trade right off the chart. Uh, you don't have to you know, punch in different orders or anything. So the next thing you're gonna need, so this is basically, it's gonna start to be looking a little bit more like mine. We're gonna click on any of these gear boxes again. It's gonna open up the settings for that thing, but it also on the left opens up uh, the settings for everything. So what we need is, and close all this, we're gonna go to presets stocks and this is what's going to set up our bracket order so we have time and force day uh, quantity doesn't really matter because you know if we're trading I, I usually have coin up here too it's about a 40 or 50 dollar stock and then some of these other ones are like five dollars so in the moment we can always change this very quickly you know just by doing that and so the default just put in a default I don't know, it could be a hundred shares a thousand shares if you know you're always trading at least a thousand shares uh, then put that in um, yeah so that's not too too important get back to our presets stocks so not super important these aren't super important I yeah so I just put display size quantity 500 size increment 50 one two three five this is not really applicable to us this is a, a specific feature this not really important but you could set things up the way i have it at least i know with these settings that it works and here's where we get into things that are important so under primary order we are going to do market order and then limit price ask bid bid and these are all zeros. So I don't believe I changed anything in here, it's just the primary order type is market. And you'll see on these, it just changes this. So if we had selected limit, it would say limit here. So we can still always change it. We'll come back to that setting again. You can always change it. So let's say, you know, on this particular trade, you don't want to use your default. You're gonna trade a thousand shares instead of 500 or whatever and you're gonna use a limit order. Then you can type in your limit price. So there's always the option to change it. We're just setting up a default. And again, you can change your time and force, day. Uh, this little green thing on here shows you whether the stock's shortable or not. Uh, very helpful for if you're buying and selling in the same day, shorting. So that's how we start getting that set up. We still have to set up that was only our primary order. Now we need to set up the bracket, which is our stop loss and our target. So let's go back, presets, stocks. So we got here, primary is market. And you know you can see it shows market there. Then we're going to go to our profit taker order. So this is our profit target. It is going to be a limit. And the limit price is the last price. 
plus or minus two, change this to percent, 2.00 percent. Now that's if you're trading a similar method to me, you're trading these more vol volatile stocks that are typically moving five to 10 percent a day in those early minutes of the stock market. We're often going to see 1% candles, stop losses will often be about 1%. So I just put it at 1%. So this again is like a default and you know you can always change it on your chart as I talked about. This is going to send it out but then on your chart they're going to show up and you can move those orders. So on a particular trade you might only be risking the stop loss might only need to be half a percent away. You can still deploy the order and then just move the stop loss closer to 0.5% or whatever it is or wherever it needs to be. And you can move your target the same. Yeah, if you think you can get a bit more, push it out to 3%. If you think maybe this trade's only good for 1 to 1.5%, one you can always reduce the target down to that level. So again, just the default, it doesn't mean you're absolutely stuck with it on that trade. Once that order is out there, you'll just have those orders showing up on your chart and you can move them to wherever you want them. So limit last plus 2% for the target. The stop order, a little bit more tricky. This is where I see most people make the mistakes. So we're going to attach stop orders. Attach stop type is stop. Stop price is last. Stop limit price, none. Next to stop price last, it's going to be plus minus minus one. That minus sign has to be in there. And that basically tells the platform that whether you're going long or short, if you're buying, put the stop loss 1% below. If you're shorting, put the stop loss 1% above. You could also change this to an amount. Let's say you only trade the same stock every day. You pretty much know what your stop loss amount is. Uh, I use percent, but maybe you're, you know, one percent of whatever the stock price is is also an amount. So if you're more comfortable putting in the amount, you could do that as well. So if you know that your stop loss, uh, or sorry, your target's going to be twenty cents, and your stop loss is usually going to be ten cents, you could also type in that as well. Just make sure the minus is in front of the stop price or the stop stop price. None of this stuff uh, really matters. I don't believe I've uh, updated any of this. Maybe trigger method last. Uh, none of this stuff really important, uh, or at least I haven't adjusted anything. And yeah, so this two percent one and you would click apply and OK. So that is going to set up the bracket whereas if, if you hit buy or you hit sell it is going to send out uh, the order with the stop loss attached. If the bracket order does not show up on this like it does here you can click on this little button and you may have to expand out to be able to see it. Uh, if it's too squished, you might not be able to see it. Click on this little button and then you're going to click bracket. So bracket, profit take it, stop loss. So that's going to basically set up this order window to have a bracket order and we've already set up the defaults we did that before in the primary order the stop loss and the target inside these uh, preset settings so we've already told it what to do and that may trick that you may get the bracket order up there already but just as a fail safe make sure that this is checked for bracket and that will make sure that yeah, you're sending out a limit order and a stop order. Your limit order is your profit take it, your stop loss. Uh, your stop order is your stop loss. It's going to send those out. And if you have all that, then you are ready. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to click File, Save Layout. So you want to save your settings. 
because you've put in all this work and you don't want them to disappear. Usually if you've made some changes and you go to like X out of the platform, then it'll also ask you, do you want to save your settings for next time? You can click yes. Uh, but I would save them before. And then the last step you want to do is if you are in unlocked mode, you would just lock this. And that is basically, that will kind of solidify the platform as it is now and save the settings so that next time you log in, it looks the same. And that is how you set up bracket orders and how you can set up trading uh, for rapid order trading, rapid order day trading in interactive brokers.